अभिजीत जी इंडियाज नेबरहुड पॉलिसी इज ऑल्सो समथिंग दैट वी बिन स्ट्रगलिंग विद फॉर अ for a very long time whether it's the gujral doctrine or the approach that nehru had adopted at the end of the day most of it has failed i think barring bangladesh to a certain extent and uh, 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 bhutan we have very hostile neighbors uh, pakistan china uh, afghanistan for that matter and we've not been able to sort out our own border issues for 70 years um, how do we go about this right our border our our near abroad is something we have completely neglected over the decades uh like you said the gujarat gujral doctrine was a farce it was about uh, destroying whatever assets india had abroad in our near abroad the nehruvian doctrine doctrine was to let everything drift away they we even gave away tibet and all that afghanistan obviously now is in the hands of the taliban which was not in our hands it is nothing to do with us the americans decided to do that and surprisingly there seems to be a reasonable amount of goodwill for india even among the taliban because whatever india did over the past 20 decade two decades over there was see other countries would come and invest for their own benefit but we invested in in, in projects that would help the people so even the family members of the taliban etc benefited from the uh, works that india did in afghanistan for example the dam the agriculture projects and all that the schools the the parliament building and so on and so forth so even the taliban have a certain amount of goodwill towards india which they don't have towards pakistan because there was significant border dispute with pakistan so that's one thing now when it comes to the other countries like nepal we have ruined nepal our government ruined nepal nepal was a hindu monarchy we destroyed the hindu monarchy we we our government at that time whichever it was as we know they fomented the maoist insurgency in nepal and today in nepal is a maoist snake pit all of their leaders and elite are jnu educated which we should not be very proud about even though jnu is in india so that's what we have done to nepal we have ruined nepal uh we don't seem to have any influence or significant influence in myanmar even though it's our neighbor uh, we have a reasonably good amount of cultural ties with uh, countries like thailand etc which actually are our neighbors even indonesia is a neighboring country most indians don't realize it india and indonesia have a distance of 200 kilometers only mm-hmm. right so uh so we have reasonably good ties with indonesia with thailand and uh, so on so forth with sri lanka it's quite interesting sri lanka has recently uh, come up with a document which is kind of a country to country integration so as we know sri lanka has been suffering from the chinese debt trap yeah. they the, the chinese have trapped sri lanka in that india may be in a position to help sri lanka and extricate it out of this debt trap and right now the sri lankan government of its own volition of its own initiative has uh, put out a document i forgot the name of the docu- document but they want to integrate the economies and the political system etc of the two countries in such a way that there will be a, a shared electrical grid a more open traveling maybe visa free traveling in the long run and uh, cultural contacts people to people contacts more integration of the two governments the only thing is we are not integrating the two governance systems so it's eventually you could have the kind of system that we have with nepal open borders the people can move in freely you can even work in the other person's other nation's uh, territory and so on so we could have that sort of system with sri lanka in the next 5 to 10 years possibly if this uh, comes to fruition so there is a, that is there is a ray of hope there is something the positive development we are seeing in sri lanka with the maldives during the previous government's time we had completely lost uh, control of the maldives now it it seems that the relations are back on track the only major problems are bangladesh and pakistan bangladesh because we have an open border with bangladesh whether we like it or not that's what it is right now uh, the the border should be under the purview of the central government but for some reason the bengal west bengal bangladesh border seems to be completely open right now so uh, so i think india would have in the long run no option but to take over bangladesh when when it comes to that so that is something for the future but that is one of the uh, problems that we are facing right now the other intractable problem is obviously pakistan our permanent enemy our permanent neighbor the nuclear armed terrorist trade state the failed state in at our doorstep so that is a problem that we need to deal with now in the past few years since 2017 onwards we have been way more proactive when de- with dealing when dealing with pakistan than, than ever before we have done surgical strikes we have done air strikes we have even launched by mistake apparently a missile into pakistan a supersonic missile so we are this government is dealing with pakistan in with the right in the right manner with the stick rather than with the carrot 
and it's clear that the pakistan is now realize that we are going to call that nuclear bluff earlier it was like pakistan has nuclear weapons don't even uh, dare to try anything with them now it's clear that that nuclear bluff has been called so the current government is dealing with these situations in a much different way in a much more hyper, uh, proactive way and maybe a more positive way so it's this this foreign policy is still in its infancy in the next 20 years as india rises and becomes a major power hopefully rises to the 10 trillion dollar status then once you to the, the thing is nothing succeeds like success if you become a successful country if you become a majorly powerful country all the little countries around you want to come into your orbit they want to come into big daddy's big daddy's orbit but if you are a small mediocre little country even though you you are large nobody wants to be associated with you so it's always peace through strength and nothing succeeds like success so india has to ensure that even if it doesn't defeat pakistan militarily or doesn't deal with the other countries in an aggressive manner as long as we keep rising and we become a major economy everybody will automatically fall in line and start behaving so that has to be the long term focus for us please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit cittti.net dhanyawad namaskar